Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to South Georgia, where we're going to be spending the next couple of days on some really awesome property looking for snakes. We're going to check some of the tin we set up later this winter tomorrow, but since we arrived kind of late into the day today, I think we're just going to walk and drive around and see if we can find anything in habitat. And then if it ends up staying warm enough, we might try to do a little night shining or possibly even night cruising. So I'm going to go get situated and then we'll head out and do some herping. All right, we're going to flip most of our tin tomorrow, but we can flip a little bit today. It's looking good. Our diurnal expeditions during the first day of the trip were pretty unsuccessful, even though we had some fantastic weather. It was partially cloudy, but the snakes were just nowhere to be seen. So we decided to head back out after dark to do a little bit of shining around some of the water features on the property. All right, guys, we're out here night shining. The daytime didn't produce too much, but we have a musk turtle here. Right past the musk turtle, we have a banded water snake who is in the grass. All right, here we have an eastern mud turtle and a banded water snake. Oh, the gnat nabbed. Uh, me and Chris lost the banded water we found, but we do have this nice eastern mud turtle. Actually, maybe even the first eastern mud turtle I've ever seen in South Georgia. All right, we'll put these guys back. Let me see. There he goes. So this pond we're walking around right now is incredible. We've seen sirens, turtles, snakes. Here we have a yellow-bellied slider, very common turtle, but I figured I'd nab it and show you guys real quick. Hopefully we can get a net so we can catch some of these sirens and look at them in the future, if not today. But wow, there's a ton of cool stuff in this pond. Yellow-bellied slider. I'll see if I can get a video of one of the sirens, and if not, maybe we can catch one. There he goes. Just need a little boost. So there are a ridiculous amount of sirens in this little pond. The only issue is we don't have a net to catch them and they're very, very hard to catch without a net. So we might have to come back a different trip and get those guys, but we know they're here now. All right, so we circumnavigated this pond and we managed to find exactly two snakes, both banded water snakes, Nerodia fasciata. Both are actually pretty nice looking. They're a little bit different from the ones we see closer to home. So decent find, but I don't know that we're going to see any more snakes tonight. So I'm just happy to get on the board today. So we will let them go and hopefully we'll have a better day tomorrow. We will see. And there they go. All right, there's our next snake of the day. We have a rough green snake way up in this tree. We're going to try to pull this guy down and see if we can catch him. So there actually were many more rough greens, and by many more, I mean at least two. We got three right there on that one little area. All right, well, we found rough green number five, and it was actually the biggest of the bunch. Or was that number four? Four. It's four. So we got four right here. It's hard to even tell how many we have because it's just a ball of snakes. But they were all within feet of each other, so we'll get some photos and put them back. But very nice bundle of rough green snakes. A very charismatic snake we're always very happy to see. So put them back and keep shining crazy like we checked around this a good portion of this pond and all of these guys were right next to each other i guess in the best little section of microhabitat. nice vines overhanging the edge that's exactly what these guys like pretty snaky night considering we did not see any snakes during the day today six snakes right uh yeah to that right. pond All right, so here's these two sliders that I pulled out of the spillway. This one is an old melanistic adult. You can see completely black almost. Actually a pretty cool looking turtle. And then a juvenile. That guy was really wedged in the rocks. We had to dig him out, but this one was just, oh, hello. This one was just chilling on top. So we'll put him back into the lake and hopefully they will not fall over again. I don't know if it'd be better to put him into the lake or put him into the creek below the spillway, but she's headed for the lake. So we will let them do that. No more herps were seen that night, but we woke up the next morning to beautiful overcast skies. Oh, yeah. Racing. Nine, nine, nine. 
He's cold to the touch. What is he? A racer. racer yeah. We got a snake. All right, first and hopefully not last snake of the day. Nice little racer. Let him go back to his business. Oh, what is that? There's a red-bellied snake. Where? Right there. You see him? He's super oh, yeah. tiny. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, there's our first non-racer of the day, a little red-bellied snake. Kind of a weird species to see in South Georgia. Um, not something I was expecting under that tin, but I guess not all too surprising. So we will uh, let him go back to his business. There's a pink-bellied snake. It's the way to do it. Pink snake. That's a little, that spot's a little oh, bit. Snake. Oh, another red belly. That's a more colorful one. Yeah. That actually looks like a Florida red belly. That's a beautiful guy. Nice. There's definitely a storm coming in, but we have got our next snake of the day, a beautiful little red bellied snake. The first one was in shed. This one's not, but very nice looking little snake. We'll uh, just let him go back under his tin. And we're gonna try to flip a little bit more before this rain hits. Go that way or not. So it finally stopped raining and we're heading out to do a little bit more herping. Uh, today has been kind of a bust so far. Not many snakes under 10 and not much going on otherwise in habitat. So we're going to go back out now after it's rained and hopefully things will be a little more productive. Well, I thought I had found a gopher tortoise for a second, but in fact, it is just a nesting slider. Look at her. We're gonna leave her to dig her nest though. That's pretty cool to see. There's definitely been no shortage of sliders this trip. All right, well, if the snakes aren't gonna be out, here's a nice little addition to the species list. I believe this is the first Southern red salamander we have seen at this spot, which is pretty cool. Um, we're getting kind of close to the edge of the species range here in South Georgia. Here is yet another slider. These things have been everywhere the last two days. I don't know if this one's nesting or if it's just making its way down here to nest. Either way, lots of turtles out. There's a racer. So there's that racer. And then over there, we got a big brown water snake. It's a pretty good sized brown water snake with a very not good looking eye. Very nice. We're finally finding some snakes, though, so I'll take it. It's pretty gnarly. Finally, a snake of some sort of substance. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Nerodia and racers, but we can find those at home. This is a really cool-looking intergrade yellow gray rat snake. This guy's belly is kind of nuts. Look at how yellow he is. I've never seen a rat snake looks quite like that. No, yeah, it's definitely it's different. Pretty... Very different. I'd like to see a couple more here. See if they all have that yellow from the coast, but then more of the... You gonna bite me? Different pattern. What a beautiful snake. I actually spotted this guy out of the side of the Kawasaki as we were driving along. I was just scanning the rocks and I noticed him sitting there with his head up. What a beautiful snake though. All right, bud, we'll let you go. Come on, I'm trying to put you down. Well, that's cool. That's the sign of the trip for me. Even I see a million rat snakes. Yeah, so far that's so definitely true. the best thing. All right, Chris spotted a giant turtle out of the car that looks like a cooter. I think he's just actually stuck. He can't get past this fence and he wants to. That's a cooter. Look at that. Looks like a big female, like maybe she's looking that's to nest. Cooter. Yeah. Assuming this girl is looking for somewhere to nest, but uh, she hit this fence and is just kind of following it, I guess. If she keeps going, she'll get to the lake and then she can get across the fence if she really wants to. Hey, here's another red-bellied snake. We'll let her back to it. 
So it's definitely about to rain again, but we came back by where this rat snake was, and he is currently up in this tree. Last we saw him, he was swimming along the edge, and now he's up in the bush. All right, everyone, we just ate dinner and we're heading back out. There's a nice southern toad here in the parking lot. I figured I'd show him real quick, but we're gonna go check around that siren pond from last night and maybe a couple other areas and see what we can turn up. All right, we just pulled up to the siren pond and uh, here we have a little common snapping turtle. I'm gonna nab him real quick and we'll get a better look. Well, y'all know me, I'm always happy to find and catch a snapping turtle. This is actually a pretty cool little uh, size class. We don't really see this size class too often, maybe a couple of years old. You can see it's just a little bit bigger than my hand, but very cool. We'll put him back in the pond. Hopefully there's more stuff to come tonight. What this trip has lacked in uh, target snakes and target species, it's definitely made up for an abundance of common stuff. I'm always happy to see these guys, so we'll let him go. <laughs> Look at that long neck. That's where they get their scientific name, Chalidra serpentina. All right, here we have another eastern mud turtle. This is a different individual than we saw last night. I ended up catching him to make sure, but uh. You can see, pretty cool looking turtle when he actually comes out of his shell, but we're just going to let him keep on moving. The diversity in this little pond is incredible. As you can see, it's just perfect for seeing stuff because it's so shallow and clear all the way around. Alright, this little terror is our first Nerodia of the night. <laughs> I just nabbed him out of the water. Um, we'll take him back down there and let him go, but I wanted to get a quick shot of him on land. Look at that stub tail. I don't know, that's, that's one of the biggest Nerodia I've ever seen. Look at this thing. <laughs> the biter. Oh my god. Wow. wow. Alright, so we were looking at that big one, and then this one we just let go swam right back up to us. So we're gonna let, oh. We're gonna let both of these guys go here in a second. How big that thing is. All right, here's yet another Nerodia. That might be one of the ones we saw last night, but out in the water, way out there, it's one of the sirens we've been trying to get video of in this pond. You can see he's taking off into the middle now. I'm gonna have to bring some traps back here and we'll trap these guys and get a better look at them at a future time. Kind of been talking up how eastern mud turtles are actually a pretty decent find, but here is yet another one. That's our third one tonight. See him pushing around here in the shallow water. It's a good looking turtle. All right, on to the next spot. Siren Pond was pretty productive for snakes, but all the sirens were way too far out tonight, way further out than they were last time. So checking out a creek now. What are you doing? All right, everyone. Well, it's the next morning, and uh, I have to admit, the snake hunting the last couple days has been a little bit tougher than I was expecting. We haven't really seen any of our big target species, but we have had a pretty good helping of common stuff and a couple of common things that we don't really get to see too much closer to home. So it's been a really fun trip, but I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.